quite fit? Well, I used to be fitter because I used to play seven days a week for two to three hours a day. <laughs> MashaAllah. And uh, I used to do squash. I have, alhamdulillah, two tournaments in squash over the western province. Mm -hmm. I play professional squash, table tennis. I used wow. to play badminton, anything that has a racket in it. Wow. Except yeah. baseball. <laughs> but, um, and then I go, this is my daily routine. Mm -hmm. I hit the showers. I have the meal of the day when mm -hmm. I reach home. And then I prepare between Maghrib and Isha for my lesson in Masjid after Isha, okay. which is usually in different books, but recently I'm doing Sahih al-Bukhari, explaining it in, mm. in the Masjid, in Arabic, of course. Yeah. And after that, I go back home and I sit with my kids and my wives, and mm. that's it. Like, but isn't it, it that, that, so for me, that sounds quite busy, Sheikh. Well, it's not busy because I'm, not, I'm, I'm still not doing enough. I mm. wish that I can spend more time with the kids I wish I could spend more time with my mother. I wish mm -hmm. I could go and, you know, do things that I want to. I, I don't see my friends because I don't have friends that I can call friends in the sense that I spend my time yeah, with. Yeah. I spend like 95% of my time with my wives and the kids yeah. because I, I, this is my safe haven. This yeah. is where I find myself with them. But unfortunately, they demand more and more. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I remember one of my daughters, whenever I get... I call my cell phone because I get a lot of questions from mm. sisters who yeah. are in distress yeah, yeah. and from brothers. But yeah. it's, it's so frequent up to two to three hours a day yeah. in total. Oh. So whenever the phone rings, my daughter starts making faces mm -hmm. at me. Turn it off. Turn it off. We want to sit with you. <laughs> and whenever I open my laptop to answer Ask Huda's questions and emails, yeah. again, I say, again? Come on. Give us time. So. Yeah. It, it's it's something you have to balance, but yeah, yeah. it's a no-win situation. Sheikh, uh, you've traveled as well. Give, I mean, doing some dawa. Uh, we've learned that you did, you did some in in India. Yes. And and in the UK, what's the experience like? And experience. How does it feel? I mean, after looking back at all the years that was. I mean, you have not felt that when you were growing up that you were being prepared actually to visit these places to spread the words of Islam. It's I can. You know, in, say in confident that the n not one single day passes without me realizing the blessing of Allah on me. I always, every single day, attribute whatever success I have in my life to Allah the Almighty, who had prepared me, who had blessed me with the knowledge, with the, well, I don't see it wisdom, but people say it. But I, I enjoy what I am. I do not have any regrets. It's the grace of Allah Azza wa upon me. The experience was overwhelming it's mind-blowing I was invited by dr. Zakir Naik mm -hmm. on December 2007 to participate in the peace conference yeah. and I got to meet a, a bunch of scholars and stay with them for about 10 days and this was the experience of my life yeah. being there was Sheikh Jafar Idris mm. by itself it's an experience if you add to that Abdul Rahim Green mm. and Abu Amina Bilal Phillips and uh, Hussein Yi and Salim al-Amri, and the whole nine yards, Yasser yeah. Qadi, Yasser Fuzaga, yeah. and so many of them. Just being there, having lunch and dinner, I, I, Yusuf uh, Estes was there, but he wasn't with us in the same hotel. Mm. When you be a monk, when you're a monk, your brothers and the scholars, the da'iyah, and you see how small you are compared to these mountains, it's, it's a mind-blowing experience. I, I enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed it 100%. Yeah. UK, uh, I go on and off. Alhamdulillah, the brothers there are so generous. They mm. keep on calling me and, and asking me to, do, to give them lectures and, and lessons. And seriously, I see Islam there. SubhanAllah. Because you see people in the midst of this, you know, kufr. Yeah. But they are grabbing to their deen. They're always smiling. Yeah. They're not violent. They're tolerant. They're, they love... They love love for everyone, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's also a great experience for me. Sheikh, we have about two minutes remaining. Um, do you see, I mean, the role of the media that you've been part of for quite a few number of years? Um, is it something that we, the few, the dais should look towards? Um, is is it the real dawa? Well, actually, it's not the real dawa, but it's a big portion of it. I could spend this time I'm doing with you in my masjid. Mm -hmm. And I could preach to 100 or 200. Mm -hmm. Through this program, I could preach to not less than 200 or 300 
thousand yeah. Muslims listening to what we have to say. So the impact and the end result is far greater than doing it in the masjid. But the masjid is quality. Here you have quantity, and with the grace of Allah, you can add to that quality. In the masjid, you have quality that yeah. you are focusing on certain individuals. And I believe that it's the Muslim's obligation mm -hmm. to support such media channels. Yeah. And I believe that if any Muslim wants the reward, he could support this channel. He could come and say, listen, we have this program, Ask Huda. I'd like to sponsor it for a year. How yeah. much would it cost? Yeah. And he pays it up front. And I know that there are lots of businessmen or enthusiasts who have the money and who are willing. And they should approach yeah. Huda management. This is done easy, easily either by support at Huda.tv or feedback at Huda.tv. And they can be part of the reward. MashaAllah. Sheikh, just one last question. I mean, looking back at all your years, I mean, being part of spreading the message, what, what was one, what's one blessing you think was very special? I can't count that. There, there are and, you know, numerous blessings of Allah Azza But believe me, one of the greatest blessings that I find is when I talk mm -hmm. on the phone for 40 or 50 minutes with a sister who is in distress, who cries and weeps and complains of her husband, and I reconcile between them. And she sends me a text message saying, Jazakallah khair, things are A-OK, -okay, and it is the grace of Allah and for you. Thank you very much for being with us on Inside Huda, Sheikh Hassan. Well, that wraps it up for today, to, uh, episode of Inside Huda. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just... <laughs>